But a guy on a bike rode past my house, must have seen the package, crossed the street with his bicycle, came back around, looked again, and then went around the block, came back again, and parked right in front of my house, put the kickstand on his bike, opened my fence. I have a beware of dog sign. I have a, a camera sign that we have cameras. I mean, it was important, maybe not to anybody, it was dog's ashes, but to me it was the most important thing. And he was just amazing, amazing. He was great with my grandkids. He was just and now I, ha I, I, I'm in this house. Just, just I pace all night long looking for him, hoping somebody will put him out. I go outside a hundred times a night just to see if maybe somebody put him on the fence or something, but nothing. After my husband died, he was just the one that I hung on to every night. And it's sad that someone could just come right in and just walk in your house and take him. I even have his little ash box there. I bought a crystal ash box for him because. I wanted to have something special for him, and I can't even fill it. And and the, the nurse says, well, he's in heaven, but that doesn't matter to me. It matters to me that I have him, that I can talk to him. And, you know, it's, it's, I can't, I'm not coping well. I had him dressed as a lobster one holiday, and he won the contest at the vet's office. You know, when he's out there and he could be in a dump or something, it's killing me. And I just, 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 I don't want any trouble, just, just, Give me back my animal. Put him in the front. I won't say nothing. I just want him returned. Because it, it's eating me inside.